Aloha, Ohana, Tribe of Light. Aloha, it is Pink Bella. Welcome. It is Wednesday, October 4th, 2017. Welcome to my light show. <laughs> so, hi everyone. My name is Tracy, also known as Pink Bella. My business is Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. I'm here as a Blu ray, an illumined Blu ray, a twin flame, a star seed, a quantum healer, a higher self liaison to facilitate and heal and help all of you on this crazy twin flame journey. Maybe you're a light worker, maybe you're a star seed, maybe you've got all the hats on like me. Hi everyone, hi. And um, I'm gonna do a live today and then I gotta pop over to YouTube. But I feel like I am not able to connect on Facebook as much as I used to and I really love and appreciate all of you. So I wanted to do this live today. The title is, it's about the 1010 Gateway coming up. We have a full moon in Aries tomorrow. We're already feeling both energies. And I want to talk about twin flame separations and why it's so hard and why it's so deep. And even though so much of us have done so much work around the separations, and this could be your divine union. This could be separations from many things. But we go through a feeling feeling of abandonment and separation when we go through the major gateways. So for a lot of you, I want to let you know that we're already in the 1010 gateway. I've been experiencing symptoms and healing from it since last Thursday, a massive upgrade and wipe, a complete wipe and regeneration of many cells and many new DNA activations getting frequencies from the 11th, 12th, 13th dimensions, more of a higher self coming in. When that happens, many of us will often get colds and flus. Flu stands for frequency light upgrade. In 3D, it's a flu. In this reality, as we're extending higher and higher with our higher self, it's a frequency light upgrade. And oftentimes, our higher self will give us something like a cold and flu. So we take care of ourselves. So we take certain things, certain um, you know herbs or or whatever you do when you're feeling not feeling well. You take more time to nurture yourself and take care of yourself and sleep. That's how I know we're going through a major upgrade. So last night, all I could do was use a bunch of oils, have some tea, put my jammies on, and go to sleep. So um, I've already had a session today. My voice sounds a little bit better, but I'm still feeling kind of woozy. So it will be almost a week. To, it'll be a week tomorrow that I've been experiencing this. Very heady, um, very lightheaded, very forgetful. And um, I did I did receive a download on transmission. Hi everyone. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna go through what the what transmission came through. I also have a diagram for us because <laughs> with my little stick men. So hopefully you can see that. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about what's happening with partnerships and relationships and friendships besides the templating. And I was, of course, guided to show this because we're receiving so many downloads. So I am a blue illumined twin flame. My grid point is Vancouver, British Columbia. I have connections to Hawaii and Lemuria. I have connections to California, to New York, to uh, Europe, including London and Ireland and France and Germany. And I also have a deep connection with Greece, which is my Atlantean connection, Australia, all around the world. Thank you all so, so much who've been booking sessions and readings because this is my work. This is what I do full time. And it is an honor to um, connect with all of you. I connected with a beautiful soul today who's on the East Coast of the United States, but she's originally from Brazil. My very first crystal, which is Atlantean was from Brazil. So you see how all the fabric of everything is connecting. It's so beautiful. So I am a higher self liaison too. So in sessions and readings, I connect with your higher self, bringing in positive messages, bringing in chakra readings, and also if you're on the twin flame journey, bringing in information for your twin flame journey at this time as well. Um, a lot of it right now is based on law of attraction and frequency and every single soul on this planet. This is a journey of sovereignty and sovereignty and self-love and it's a self-love mastery and your twin especially if your twin's a masculine sometimes it's flipped sometimes the masculines are awake and the feminines are going through their next level of awakening just know that everyone is going through their big aha moments that the solar eclipse was a game changer that it was a unplugging from one timeline and moving to another and if i know someone said to me what what does that mean choosing timelines Self-love, choosing joy, choosing peace in each moment, choosing to be in balance. No matter what someone else is trying to tell you to do, choosing yourself. A lot of us went through a lot of, and are still going through, initiations and choices to choose ourselves. Do that and see the magic and the miracles that unfold from that, okay? A lot of this is about trust and faith 
in ourselves, in our journey, in who we are and why we came. Uh, many of you are very advanced beings from other timelines. A lot of us are from future timelines that came back to be here at a specific time to help with the consciousness, the collective consciousness awake. And we're at the good part now. We're, it, things are going to, even though the outside world looks crazy, of course, because we're, we're clearing away a lot from within, let the outside world be crazy. Do what you here, came here to do, which is just to be a high frequency, be in joy. The best thing I can share with you too on this journey is start to unplug from watching a lot of the news because the news is a very low frequency and it will drag your energy down. So the, as best you can, I know still some things filter my way and I always send love and light to all souls that are involved with everything that's happening. But the best thing you can do is to unplug from the drama and that also means the news, okay? The veil is very thin these days. Absolutely, Lori. So welcome everyone to Facebook Love and Live. And if um, I'm going to load this up on YouTube. So YouTubers, this is a Facebook Love. So if the, if the sound and everything is so, so just know why, okay? So just a couple of announcements and I'm going to do my video on YouTube is going to go into more specifics. I'm now offering what I call Pink Bella right now, Pink Bella Magical Intuitive Classes and Courses. I've um, updated my website. I did that yesterday. There's a whole option of different classes. There's a Twin Flames one-on-one -on -one class and all classes are small, two hours live. Um, I'm going to record them. They're going to be on Zoom, so I'm going to record them, and um, you'll have the recording afterwards. I'm building more of a community now just to help all of you on your journey. So not just Twin Flames, Starseeds, Lightworkers. There's a light, uh, Starseeds 101 class, an Ascension uh, 101 class, and there's also classes to do with Crystals and Prosperity and Abundance. I've also got a four-week class just for manifesting uh, abundance and prosperity using crystals as well and that'll be four weeks consecutive super excited so the classes will start uh, the week of October 23rd and I'm also going to be creating a Facebook group for everyone who's taking classes and I'll be doing um, lives in that group as well there's lots more coming I'm going to be creating meditations and all sorts of amazing things the other news announcement is I'm now offering 30 minute video readings which I've never had a chance to offer I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do that for, but definitely for this month, there's a one hour if you're if you want a chakra reading for your ascension, or if you want a one not a one hour, sorry, 30 minutes. I'm so used to saying one hour, 30 minute video readings, either an ascension chakra reading or a twin flame journey reading with both 3D and 5D messages from your higher self. 30 minute video, and that's on special for 88 US dollars as an exchange. So I wanted to bring in something that I could do no matter what time zone you were on and that's affordable for a lot of you who want to connect with me. Okay. So that's also on my website. Definitely going to be there for the next couple of weeks. I'll just see how my, um, how my schedule goes. Okay. So let's get on with the downloads. All right. I was, <laughs> I was guided to show a few cards and also, so levels of such separation. Why do we feel them so deeply during the gateways? Why is this 1010 gateway feeling so much like 1111 gateway last year? Like I feel I'm getting a complete wipe because more is coming. More awesomeness is coming and we're being prepared for that. So when we go through massive downloads, like I said, we get like a complete memory wipe. So my little story the other day is I went and had lunch with my dad. Literally, I got in my car. I didn't even remember the lunch. And I remember I was, I, I knew where I was going. I was in the moment, but I was driving to my next destination. And I, all of a sudden I thought, where are my sunglasses? Because I've been, I've been using sunglasses all summer because the light frequencies from the planet, and especially since the eclipse, the sun has been so bright. I've actually had to go back to wearing sunglasses when I've been driving. I didn't even remember having them. This was interesting. They weren't in my bag, but I knew that I had driven with them. So I retraced my steps. Nobody had seen them. And what's interesting is this took like another hour out of my time. And I felt like it was a redirect. Like I felt like I was getting redirected to another time frame because it took an hour out of my schedule. I ended up meeting an amazing guy that seemed quite galactic. So um, that was really cool. We talked for a while. He also had the same pair of sunglasses and he'd lost them. So there was that connection there. Then when I got back in my car, I started driving. I started, all the synchronicities started happening. 144 on license plates, 11, 111, 222, 777, 888. So I knew I was on the right track. Like I knew like, okay, the redirect, everything happened for a reason, even my sunglasses going missing. And normally I wouldn't care about sunglasses, but these ones have been with me for six years, which is a miracle. Then I started seeing 
acronyms on license plates that were, was a connection to a friend of mine. So I contacted, I had contacted him a while ago. I went and got a, a tea. He messages me. We connected that night and we had a meeting on Zoom. And he and I have been trying to connect for two years. So that's that was fascinating to me how like something got removed, it redirected me, and then uh, another door opened. So I just wanted to share with you like that's kind of what's happening right now is that we're you, one moment you might be completely focused and then suddenly you're going to you're it's like we leave our body and come back in and suddenly you're like what's going on what's happening where are my car keys you know what day is it so all I can say is write down anything important right now if you have passwords and things that you need to make sure you write them down somewhere it's really key right now that you can just pull a piece of paper out when you need to and um, I want that's what I wanted to share with you about that's the kind of wipe we're going through right now so I I it's not about the full moon this is about the 1010 gateway so those of you who are uh, blue rays star seeds gatekeepers that um, you might also be feeling a lot of it some of us go through it much earlier then the official gateway opens because we are doing this work and we're assisting all of you. And the light show that's going on behind me is, I, there's no light in here, it is my energy field and this has been going on for a while. So a few of us are putting light shows on now and there's no point in hiding it. It's been happening since the summer. It's pretty cool. So it is, it's like, it's, uh, this is who we are. We are, we, we are beaming out light now and um, we're also going to be seeing more. You're going to be seeing more lights around people outside, um, more orbs, more different colors. I've been seeing more colors since the eclipse and different shades of colors. I've been seeing like electric turquoise, electric pink, a lime green has come in. It's been really fascinating. So just prepare yourself for more awesomeness, okay? That is our light family. They're already here. They're just waiting for us to, uh, to connect up and catch up, all right? Okay, so back to, <laughs> back to the topic, levels of separation. When we go through these portals and gateways, it's like we're clipping off more, of like peeling the onion, clipping off more of the energy that's holding us back. Our first separation came from source, whether you're a twin flame or not. And when we came into this density, we were prepared for this. But a lot of us, of course, we forgot. That was all part of it. We incarnated and we, that was part of the deal that we would forget, but that we would go through different points of our journey to help us awaken to that next level of who we are and why we came. For a lot of us, that was that may have been through losing a home, losing a job, lo losing a, a family member or partner, losing an animal. Um, you know, something devastating happened. That would that would have been the first wake up, and then there'd be more along the way. Then, for a lot of us, oh, we weren't awake enough yet. Had to have the twin flame come in. So the twin flame came in. Both got, of us got activated, maybe multiple times, depending on what was happening, and or a divine partner to awaken you to the next level of consciousness. When I met my twin flame, 2010, there was no information about twin flames. There was very vague information. The information actually started coming in a little bit clearer in 2013, but his higher self would continue to connect with me. We're 6,000 miles apart. His higher self would come to me in dreams, which was also confusing because at first I thought the soul knew. I first thought like, okay, we're having these amazing dream times. He must know. No, it's the higher selves. When we're in dream time, we're actually at a different dimension where a lot of us are at different frequencies and different dimensions and we're connecting with the higher version of, we are the higher version and we're connecting with their higher version so they're not aware, okay? When they do start getting aware, that's really cool. Um, anyway, the twin flame journey is to activate sacred geometry and light codes as um, so we can remember more and become more. So who I was when I first met my twin compared to who I am now, well, I'm fully on soul mission. And in 2010, when I met him, I was in grief for missing my mom, and I was not connected to source at all. So I am in gratitude for my personal twin flame journey, even though we're in separation right now, because I wouldn't even be doing this work if it wasn't for my connecting with my twins. So thank you, my beautiful twin. Um, okay, so we basically, and this is what my, my diagram's about, when we go through these gateways, it's like we kind of get um, disconnected from source a little bit and we feel disconnected. So we go through different levels of feeling abandoned again so we can clear that away and, and find tools, healthy tools that will work for us to feel connected to source. 
and then we also have the so the levels I have right now are four. We have the disconnect from source coming into this 3D energy and then not remembering source, not remembering that we're valued. Uh, we came in through our mothers and we had we felt very comfortable and very connected for nine months and then, or some less. And then we got separated from our mother at that point. Um, then when we go through, if we go through in our lifetime, a separate from our physical mom, either through them transitioning or, um, you know, just a bad relationship or something, that's another deep wound because we went through another level of separation. If we met our twin flame and we're in separation from our twin, we deeply feel that when we go through these gateways because we not only feel all of the separations and our twin flame separation, but we feel their separation. So our separation feelings get multiplied because the twin is also feeling the separation from source, from the mother, and us as twins, even if they don't know that we're twin. Then if we have star family. We've all really missed our star families. Um, and that's another level of separation. So I know I've been very, a little teary this week, not ongoing detoxing, sobbing like has happened in the past, but I have been in a bit of sadness this week and that's been part of the release and it has been part of it I asked today was from what my twin is going through but the other part of it as well is like we miss our star families and we miss source but don't worry it's getting better and better and that's some of the tools that I bring in sessions as well how to connect directly connect to source and how to fill up every day because this is kind of the picture hopefully you guys can see it it's kind of bright let me see can do this. okay so <laughs> So in 3D, though, there are two souls, whether we're family, friends, marriage, partners, we're trying to, oh, that, sorry, that's the 5D one. Oh, hold on. Why don't I fold it? <laughs> that is easier. Okay. So in 3D, there we are. We're in a relationship. We're not connected to source. We're connected to each other through our sacral, sometimes through our heart, but mainly through the sacral. And, um, or it'll be from, from one person heart over to the other one and then sacral for both. So there'll be a connection. We're trying to connect, uh, to source with each other. And then what happens is, uh, in the twin flame union that amplifies because it's like the, the twin flame connection is the closest connection we've had to source since being on this planet. So, um, but we're, if you notice, like there's no connection, the, the 12 chakras aren't, aren't um, activated. They're not connected up. We're not connected to the earth. So that, those are the old relationships. So some of you since the eclipse, many souls I've shared um, since the solar eclipse in August chose to continue to try and connect, find a way to connect to their higher self and source, which means they're going back. They're at a lower frequency. And then those of us that know now we can connect to source, we're connecting up every day, and that is our source of love and support and energy. And that is the key right now, because when we want to be in a 5D partnership, we're, we can connect up, and so we're able to bring source energy in. We're connecting down to our Earth star for our soul mission. We want to connect and be do that every day. That's where we want to uh, fill up from. And then we have two sovereign beings that want to come together, that share our heart love with each other, and our sovereign beings, and are both doing their work. But both souls need to have, be working with their higher self and have all 12 chakras activated as well. So hopefully that's clear and I will beat that some of the, some of the um, better drawings, <laughs> some of the things I'll be sharing in the classes coming up. Okay. All right. So let's talk about symptoms. So all 12 chakras are being elevated to a higher frequency. So more light is coming into each of your chakras, more you're getting more light codes, whether you're a twin flame, a star seed, a light worker. Um, and just know if you're, if you are all of those, like myself, you're receiving a mass rewrite and upgrade right now. Uh, I've been getting messages like platinum diamond codes uh, from the 11th, 12th and 13th. Uh, dimensions to connect us up to a higher frequency so we can connect more with our higher selves and our uh, star families and our um, families of light okay the main physical chakras that are being affected the seventh the crown third eye ear chakras throat and the heart basically all of them but we're getting a lot of upper uh, recalibration to connect us up to our heart and our throat and um, for me, my voice has been off and on. I've had, my ears have been clogged. I've had like flu, cold symptoms, hot and cold. So that's all been part of it, okay? 
Now the sacral and the root and the have also been being recalibrated and the solar plexus. So if you've had an upset stomach, that's been part of it. Um, the root is about us not feeling grounded or feeling dizzy. The sacral will be hormonal uh, issues and or um, maybe some of you have been attracting a little bit more of the opposite sex than you normally do. That is also part of the frequency change. And the thing is, is that you're being, that's another one of your initiations. Are you, do you just want to settle for that? Or are you, you know, are you ready for a really sovereign based, heart based partnership? And that, those are the choices that you're being given right now. Okay. So there, we're going through daily lessons, uh, daily lessons around boundaries, daily lessons around initiations. Notice the patterns. Is this a similar pattern? Have you been down this road before? Does this seem familiar? If it does, take a step back, connect to source in your higher self and ask which way. The message I keep getting is choose wisely. We're also doing a lot of template busting. This is the time period to choose wisely and choose yourself. And like I said, notice the patterns and choose a different door, okay? So the cards I was guided to show are the 12 chakra stellar gateway, these are, this is the 12th and 13th dimensional codes that are coming in, the diamond and the platinum, depending on where you are in your journey. So lots of light activations coming into the head area. Um, the cosmic heart is opening for many of you. This is an energy center in here. It's the divine feminine energy, our intuitive abilities, but it's also the cosmic chakra. So it's connecting us up to source. And when this chakra starts to open, we radiate out light, which is the light show that's going on right now. So we, and mine started to open up in 2013 and I wasn't with my twin when it happened. And my twins opened up after we saw each other last year because I felt it. So, um, but we start to radiate out light wherever we are. We become very, very strong beings of light and healing. Uh, the other cards I was guided to show, this one says orientation. This is my starseed card. So a lot of you are receiving starseed codes, information, that's um, more memories of having timelines on other planetary systems. Maybe you're having dreams about them. Maybe more of that information is coming into your YouTube suggested videos. <laughs> so that's really another component of the Twin Flame journey. A lot of you are star seeds, and it's just time for us to embrace that and know that we're not alone in the universe and the galaxy and that we're going to be able to connect more with them, okay? So yeah, it's going to it's getting more fun, more crazy, more Star Trek. Love it. Okay, so <laughs> the next card I was got to show is this one, the thrill, but there's the stars aligning up over the pyramids. So all the portals and gateways around the planet, including the pyramids and the Sphinx are open and activated for that next wave of information that we're getting and the upgrades that we're receiving. This is the soul start. This is where we carried our templates for being male, female, uh, what, where were you born? Who were you born? What family were you born into? Your DNA, your lineage, your belief systems as male, female, your belief systems uh, through work, about money, about relationships, about religion, all of that you're examining right now. This is a perfect time to know what's working for you and what's not and just release yourself from those boxes. The more we release ourselves from the boxes, the more we step back into our power in our solar plexus and the more we can share our gifts on the planet and be okay that we're different. It's all good. We came here, we came here to system bust. We came here to bust templates. That's why you're that's why you're a light worker, a star seed, and a twin flame. You came here to not fit in. You came here to stand out and shine your light. Okay. And then the final message I was guided to show is Archangel Michael and sovereignty. So this is for the blue rays and the purple rays. And all of you who know that you're sovereign beings, just keep going. And like I said, just know your higher self is working with you every single day. You are fully supported. You are sovereign. You can connect directly to source now and be filled up with sources love every single day. All right, my beautiful souls, I'm going to sign off. And I'm going to uh, go over to YouTube and do a video just about the courses and the classes. If you would like to book a video, 30-minute video reading, a session or class, everything's below in the comments. It's all on my website. I do have availability for the gateway next week and I have a little bit of availability on Friday uh, but I actually when if you decide you want a video reading I can do that whenever I'm going to be working on video readings tomorrow so just pop me off an email and or go to my website lots of love and aloha have a beautiful day everyone bye Facebook family thank you all for coming bye